In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you buy a lease SPLC or put up money for a lease SPLC and get hundreds and millions of dollars? You have to watch this. Hi, I'm Tamer Zan from LearnCredit.ai. My organization is a category leader, like best in class, in three specific categories. One is line of credits. We can go up to $3 billion, no questions asked, using a program of Rent a Rich Uncle program, our Money Multiplier program, or our Non Recourse Loan program. The second category that we are best in class is monetizing banking instruments. There's bank guarantees, standby letters of credit, document letters of credit. We can help clients uh, purchase them at discounts and or simply monetize them for them or use a bank guarantee or SBLC to get them a loan. The third area that we are best in class in is in the area of private placement programs. We have a very unique service where we have former FBI, CIA agents doing forensic background checking on the private placement providers. We provide lines of credit loans for clients that want to get into this product. You know, one of my clients called me over the weekend and asked the question, can I put up some money to buy a lease instrument? And that's what I want to answer in today's call, today's video, because believe it or not, this was probably the 30th phone call I've got this year from a client that's saying, hey, uh, Timor, you know, some joker broker is asking me to put up $85,000 and I'm going to get a billion dollar lease instrument. So uh, I want to I wanna answer that question for you. Here's how I want to answer it. Imagine I own a car. I'm the title holder of a car. And you come to me and say, Timur, I want to lease your car. So we get into a lease agreement. I'm going to give you the keys to my car. You're going to give me some money. And for, for simple finance, you've rented my car to do whatever you want my car to do, right? I want to ask you, do you think you could take a rented car of mine and go to an auction or go to somewhere and get a loan against it? Probably the answer is no, right? Like the most simplest way the answer is no. So the question when somebody from, when a joker broker out there comes, calls you, and there's a lot of funny characters out there for sure. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have the depth, technical, legal expertise that my firm does. Uh, a lot of the market, they call the marketplace and they will make claims like for $85,000 or for $100,000 or for five bucks, I'm going to get you a trillion dollars standby of credit or bank guarantee, whatever. And boy, you'll become the richest person in the world. And I want to tell you all of that is simply BS. It's not possible. It's not legal. It's not ethical. Like that. Part one. Part two, any professional institution like ours, as example, there is no upfront fees. Like strictly, there's, I just don't know how else to say this. Any professional institution you're working with that has technical expertise, depth, like that, there is no upfront fees. So the minute that the guy says, you have to pay me $85,000 to purchase a billion dollar instrument, uh, that the, the first thing I think you should do is to contact the, the FBI and give that person's information to FBI if you want to be nice to humanity. Second thing you could do is simply just hang up the phone and run. Like really that's it, pretty much. And that, that's what I would say. I've heard multiple times from clients that have been frauded or clients that have got calls by Joker Brokers saying for 85,000 bucks or 100,000 bucks or some number, they're gonna go get you a trillion dollar instrument. And, and, then, and then the question becomes, then what are you gonna do with it? There are horror stories on that. First of all, if you wanna monetize the instrument, an apple is not an apple, it's not an apple. So you can check out uh, linacred.ai, check out our online store. Uh, we actually have in our online store uh, four of the most, our clients have given us SBSCs that have given them the highest LTV and bank guarantees. So that's four proven templates that you can purchase from our online store should you want to do that. But for somebody to say, if you give me $5,000, I'm going to give you a billion dollar lease SBLC. 
first of all, that's just not logical, possible at all. I don't know how you could even do that. And assuming that was truly authentic and you weren't working with a fraud artist, if you got a billion dollar instrument, how are you going to monetize it? Remember, Apple is not Apple is not Apple. So there's two major flaws in that. What is possible, generally speaking, is the value of a standby of credit or bank guarantee, roughly speaking, with no broker fees, is roughly speaking about 11%. So if I was going to lease a SBLC, generally speaking, my fees are about 11%, maybe 15%, depending on the bank or some of the languaging around it. But I'm not paying $85,000 to get a billion dollar instrument like, like that. That's So the price wise, I just want to make sure yeah, you know the market rates. If you don't know the market rates, please check out on credit.ia. Please click on everything to do with SBLCs, please look at, you know, the fees you will find industry rates for a fresh guard, lease SBLCs like that, what generally those prices are, and then a couple of percents for the broker fees. That's something that's possible. If somebody wanted to say, hey, Tamar, I want to buy a fresh guard SBLC from HSBC Bank, as an example, HSBC is one of the top banks in the world and SBLC is one of the most desired instruments in the world because of all the things you can do with SBLC, the rough, rough cost on that, generally speaking, is about 50, in the 50 ranges, 54% of like that is, is just the cost of the instrument, and then you're adding broker fees to it. So that's pretty much rough cost. Now, Institutions like mine, private equity firms like mine, we're doing massive transactions either on behalf of clients or on behalf of ourselves. So we get stuff that is discounted. We have relationships with the issuers, with the bankers at that. And in my case, and this is just something very unique to my case, we have uh, we work with one of the richest families on the planet. And we have some commercial relationships with this particular family. My cost, this is my true, true cost is $4 million. I can go get a $100 million SBLC from HSBC, cash back too. But, but that's not a, um, like, like that's not, I don't go and advertise that and tell clients, hey, clients, I can go do that kind of thing. It's something I do for not within our own private equity firm, for our own private transactions, like that. But $85,000 for a billion dollar lease instrument, like at some point you want to ask yourself, is this, does this, does this just make common sense? If you, even if you're new to this industry or you don't know what's what, if the minute that it doesn't make common sense to you, I think if your, your gut is right. And I think that's when you should stop the transaction. That's just my personal uh, advice. If you want to do back, if you still want to move ahead, because I don't say, I don't want to say it's greed, but you have a business need and you want to give some strange 85,000 bucks to get a billion dollar instrument, then I think the next thing you might consider, uh, and I don't mean to advertise on credit.ai, but we have former FBI people that you can go to our website and from our online store, simply hire, you know, hire four hour increments and you'll have a former FBI person on the phone supporting you doing background checks that that. And then that way you're not spending $85,000 or wasting $85,000 or whatever to do a background check on somebody. And I, and I think that's what I would do. So I'll first listen to my gut instinct and say, is this common sense? If the answer is no, buy. But if this is still common sense or not, and you still want to do a gut check, you know, we have some services, resources to provide. But the big thing I wanted to make sure the market understands is when people call you to say, hey, I have a, if you pay me this amount of money, whether it's 5,000 bucks or 5 million bucks or 500,000 bucks, I don't care whatever it is. And I'm going to give you a trillion dollar, billion dollar instrument. Uh, I, I think that that should have fraud all over it for you. If it doesn't come across as fraud, and I totally respect that because some of the Jokers, brokers out there are very, very sophisticated salespeople. Then I think the least you should do is have a FBI, a former FBI, CIA agent uh, that you retain to do background checking on this book to say it makes sense. 
the third thing you should be considering is okay if you did get an instrument uh, SBLC bank guarantee document turned up credit I don't care what kind of a banking instrument you get you want to ask yourself what are you going to do with it how does this fit into your business objectives who's going to monetize it uh, make sure something called the languaging of it works. Does the languaging of this instrument work with whoever they're going to monetize it? And then, you know, does the LTV match to what you're looking for? These are the things that I would do if I were in your shoe or to help a client move forward. My name is Tamar Zamin. Uh, I hope you find this helpful. If you do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for sure so you get access to this type of information. And I look forward to the opportunity of working with you. Thank you.